Hey everyone, I just wanted to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I really hope these videos are helping you out. You're becoming a little bit more confident in math and you're starting to get better. Today our focus is going to be on the number line. As you guys can see here, I already drew up a picture of my number line. And um, in math, it's very, very important that we know how to use the number line because we're going to be, it's a very, very powerful tool. And from here on, we're going to be seeing it a lot. So I've created here a number line for you guys, and, I, and um, I want you guys to notice the very first thing is that right in the center of our number line, we have the number zero. And to the right of the number line, you guys have seen this before, probably since first grade, that's where our numbers start. So I'm just going to put some numbers here, one, two, three, four, and I'm just going to put five here. And the number line is infinite, which means that it could go on forever. And um, I'm sure that you guys already know this, but as we move to the right, the further we move to the right, and again, this could go on forever, the bigger our numbers get. So most of us, we're, we don't have a hard time understanding this, right? We understand that five is bigger than one, four is bigger than one, three is bigger than zero. So the further our, number, our numbers move to the right, the bigger they get. However, um, when we start talking about integers, this is where we just get a little bit confused because um, integers work a little bit different. So to the left of the zero, now we're, now we're going to have integers. Integers just basically means negative numbers. So it's going to look almost the same, a little similar to this, but now we're going to have negatives to the left of the zero. So I'm just going to put in here a few numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative four, and then negative five. And what I do want us to understand is that the further we move to the left, the smaller our numbers get. So the further we move to the right, the bigger our numbers get on the number line. You guys see that? But the further we move to the left, the smaller our numbers get. And one important rule whenever we're um, comparing integers and negative numbers, something that I tell my students that helps them remember when we're comparing negative numbers is that the number, and I'm just going to write that down here, the number, and we're talking about integers only, the number, the integer that is closest to zero, that is closest to zero on the number line, has a greater value. So for example, let's just say we're comparing these negative numbers here. If we were to compare negative 1 and negative 5, which one of these two is the closest to 0 on the number line? Negative 1 or negative 5? As you guys can see, negative 1 is a lot closer to 0 than negative 5. So the greater number, the bigger number here would be negative 1. Okay. Um, let me give you guys another example. Let's say we're going to be comparing negative 2 and negative 5. Again, which one is closest to 0? Well, let's see. Negative 2 is only 2 units away from 0. Do you guys see that? 1, 2. While negative 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units away from 0. So we can say that negative 2 is greater than negative 5. Now, let's say we were to compare negative 3 and negative 5. So let's see, which one's the closest to the number 0 on the number line? Well, negative 3 is 1, 2, 3 units away from 0, and negative 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the one from these two integers, the, one that, the integer that is the closest to 0 is negative 3. Do you guys see that? So we could say that negative 3, this is a greater than sign, greater than, it's greater than negative 5. And actually, one way that um, we've taught our students at our campus of remembering these signs here, the greater than and less than sign, um, is by creating a Pac-Man. I know it, it, seem, it might seem silly, but it really works well with the students. So Pac-Man always eats a bigger number, okay? So negative 2 is greater than negative 5, negative 3 is greater than negative 5. Again, here we have our number line. Right in the center, we have 0. To the right, we have all of our positive numbers. To the left of the 0, we have all of our negative numbers. When we're comparing only integers, 
the, the negative integers that are the closest to zero are the ones that have the greatest value. The ones that are further away from zero, they're the ones that have the, the smaller or the least value. So if we were to extend this number line and go all the way to the um, negative number 100, I want to ask you guys this question right before we finish. What would be greater? Negative 100. Could you guys imagine if we were to extend this number line all the way out? Negative 100 or negative 1, which one would be a greater number? Well, again, we're going to have to go back to our little rule here. Any The integer that is closest to 0 has a greater value. So which one would be closer to 0, negative 1 or negative 100? We were to extend this all the way out. You guys are right, negative 1. So negative 1 would be the number that has the greatest value. I hope that this helps. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. Um, I'll try to respond to you as quickly as I can. If these videos are helping you or you're understanding them, you're, just, you're understanding the content a little bit better, please, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Thank you very much. Share these videos with somebody else. It might help them in math. You guys have a good one.